is Trevor Arslescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Canadian history is full of exploration and adventure into new lands and uncharted territories. IMAX Models makes a series of model kits based on American history, which could also be used as Canadian subjects. For example, they have a model kit called the Eastern Friendly Indians, which would be similar to any of our Canadian First Nations groups, as well as the Wagon Train, which is an exploration set that shows um, how people came out to the West. So now I'm going to show you the Wagon Train model kit. Now I've taken this apart because I was going to build this as a set for the store, but time and circumstance didn't quite allow me to do it. However, it gives you a good basis as to what's involved in this kit. So here we have the wagon train set by IMAX. As you can see, it's got a wonderful representation of Wild West settlers coming out across the prairies into their new lands. As we look to the side of the box, we get a historic picture, probably from the 1890s, and um, history on how the Americans came across in the wagon train, but that's very similar to how the Canadians came across as well as we had the railroad, but this also says about their railroad. So the set here includes eight Congestoga wagons, one chuck wagon, a prairie schooner, 50 horses, 10 drivers, two oxen, 30 figures in assorted poses, five cows, six pigs, and two campfires with accessories. So it's quite a big set when you consider it all. 50 horses, 30 figures, so you've already got 80 things in there. 90, 100, and 2, uh, 102 plus 11, 113, and then the accessories. It's quite a good set. And this side of the box shows you the different colors of paint you would use on this set, as well as the reference points for um, how these things would have looked. Bare wood, canvas, horses, and uh, people, of course, on the box art. Now, as I said before, I have opened this and started it. There's one of the wagons, sort of in progress. But here's how the kit would come if you were to open the box without, you know, me doing anything to it. You get some plastic trees here. Hold on, try to do this with one hand. So here you have the plastic trees, they open up, you would need some side cutters just to clip everything off, clipping off the sprue points, and probably a hobby knife is a good idea just to clean off the, the clip points. And this is a, the wagon set, as you can see there. So. There's your chuck wagon and the prairie schooner. So here's the wagon train set up. Now keep in mind there's an additional four of these wagons, as well as the prairie schooner and the chuck wagon. But at any rate, I'll show you some of the groups close up here. So we'll go over here. So here are the uh, six pigs. They're all in the same pose, but that's okay. You could build a little trough or something for them, or just a little little fence with some mud in it or something. And here's some of these men that are, uh, I guess, harvesting a field. I'll move them aside and go in behind here. We've got three guys that are carrying a, a bit of lumber, possibly for a fence. And then over here is a couple of schoolgirls. Okay, let's go around here. I've got a, a man carrying a baby on his back. And then we've got two schoolboys. There's a woman holding a baby. 
and a mom and a daughter. You get two of those. Here's a, a guy walking with some a stick or something. Bit of rope. Move these guys out of the way. Here are two guys hammering a post, probably for the fence from these guys. And then there's two different guys that are sitting down. One's got a barrel behind him and the other doesn't. Waiting on the campfire for the food to be ready. Here is a grandmother knitting a quilt. A fiddler playing on his fiddle. There's a grandmother cooking some dinner. Two hunters with a rabbit or something that they've caught. There's the dairy workers and the cows. You get five of these. These are posed a little bit differently so you can have sort of like the older cows and the young calves. And then over here we get our wagon, Congestoga wagons. So I'll just, because there's four, they're the same. There's actually eight, and they'll be the same. But as you can see, each of the horses has different poses, so you could set them up prancing or whatever. There is a rider on the back of this one. He's removable, so you could put him anywhere. Of course they'll fall over. But anyway, there's the wagons. So you can see the detail is quite nice. They are more or less snapped together. So with a bit of luck you can oops, break it like I did. No. <laughs> you can unsnap it and there's sort of the peg and post. So it's fairly easy to put together for younger younger people. And make a nice display once you paint it. Paint that with canvas top and the wood in the bottom. The horses in different colors. You could look that up on the internet and find out what um, what horses would have been there and how they would have been painted. You can also use some glue, testers glue, to glue these guys on because that guy's just not working for me anymore. But yeah, that's basically the wagon train set. It is IMEX set. Here's the box. 610. Excellent for school projects and whatever on how they settled the West. And in the same scale from a different manufacturer, Pegasus, I also have these Russian log houses. This one is two-story, and this one is a single story. What's nice about these is they use logs. So there's sort of your log cabin houses, as well as um, the, the thatched, not really thatched roof, but similar kind of idea. So these could also be used in your Western, Wild West sort of uh, prairie settler dioramas. So as you can see, the detail on that is really excellent. It'll make a, a nice house for one of the settlers. It's just how it's uh, put together. Nice, easy, snap together construction. You'll need a, some sandpaper or whatever to get rid of the 
the pieces were clipped on the tree originally. But yeah, there's there's like your front door. So you see everything is in nice scale and proportion. Here we'll just play around a little bit. So there's a nice proportion of the woman coming out of the house sort of thing. All to scale. The um, head and shoulders and that line up to where you would be if you were behind the window. The camera focus. There you go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that video and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Find out more about Monster Hobbies by tuning into our Facebook page. Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. We've got uh, our gaming events, our, our Warhammer nights, our slot car races, and we always update that site more than our old uh, monsterhobbies.com um, internet page. So, check us out there, and uh, like us, and friend us, and share us, and everything that's all fun about Facebook. And we'll see you soon at Monster Hobbies.